to my channel so a little bit of a disclaimer I have a really really sore throat my voice is almost gone I sound like a man so if my voice does go in the middle of this video I apologize sincerely but this video is going to be a tutorial on a one branded makeup this makeup is called wet n wild um, it is the most cheapest best quality makeup I think is out there on the market right now everything is like under a fiver and the products are so so good I think my favourite out of everything would have to be the lipsticks they're $2.49 I mentioned it in my August favourites so yeah if you want to see how I created this really simple goldy brownie eye look with red lips do keep watching and if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up I hope you subscribe to see more of my videos next week and yeah I think that's all I have to say starting off with the first product I don't think on my face right now is completely naked I'm starting off with a primer and I've actually used it before and I actually really do like it it is the coverall primer by my mind obviously but yeah this is like two 99 3 euro. I'm go ahead and I'm going to use the Primark brushes, which are so affordable, such good quality. Like, I can't, I use them, I use at least one of them all the time. Like, I love them. So, the one I'm using now for primer, which I always use for primer and stroke cream and everything and everything, is this one. The writing is wore off, but I'm not sure what it's called. It's just double sided, kind of dual fiber, um, flash. And that one is like slanted brush, so I'm going to use the slanted side. I'm going to put a bit of the primer on it, so it looks like that. And I'm just going to put that on my face. Once I have that all um, applied to my face, I kind of wait a few minutes to dry in. So for foundation, um, I have not tried this yet. I only got it yesterday, but I'm very excited to try it. It's, it's also called Cover On. It's actually got the same packaging as the primer. So it's just called the Cover On Cream Foundation. I got mine in the shade E816, which is Fair, uh, fair Light. Yeah, for um, brushes, I'm going to use the other side of the brush that I use for the primer, which is the flat side. I'm going to use a flat sided one now, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush. Actually, like a thick consistency. It says, all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin matte finish. So, this is kind of what I would like in foundation. You know, I like full coverage, and I like matte but yes I don't like you know cakey matte so yeah this seems like it will be good so I'm going to take that now and I'm just going to start buffing that into the skin okay so for a concealer I've also tried this product out and I really like it it is also called coverall I was guessing that all their face products are called the coverall the coverall range so this is wet well coverall liquid concealer wand and it comes like this this one i think 199 i'm not completely sure mine is in the shade light um because i like getting the lightest shade for when i'm highlighting my under eyes and yeah it just comes like a little i'm sure it's just like a wand two triangles and then on my chin we're going to this is that i have to like put the So I'm gonna go ahead and take another sponge and have it. Now that I have that all blended in, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this contouring powder palette from Wet Wild. I'm obsessed with this. Caught this about two weeks ago. It was in my August favorites. I think the banana shade. I'm gonna take another primark brush, this is a double sided like powder brush and just a powder brush and I'm gonna take the blend of shade and I'm gonna just use that to set 
and under eyes. To ensure that the concealer does not budge or crease all day long. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to set the rest of where I put the concealer. Um, it's I think 5 euro, which is very good because it is two sides. It's quite powdery, but you get over that. I'm going to use this powder, which I have for about a year, I'd say. It is also called Coverall Press Powder. And I'm going to set that with the rest of my face. Mine's in the shade Light. It is hit pan, it is almost gone. I'm going to use the same brush, just kind of brush it off a bit. And I'm going to set the rest of my face with that. Okay, next is contouring, and I'm going to use that contouring palette like I just used. And this is also another Primark brush. It is just the angled bronzing brush, which I use a lot, and I love it. Um, again, it's like 250 or something. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to take that brown contouring shade there on this, and I'm going to just tap off the excess, and I'm going to start cutting those cheeks. So this next product I also bought yesterday, which I'm very excited to try it out. It is a blush called in the shade Rose Champagne. Now I bought this in this shade because um, I didn't have any highlight either, so I was hoping this could be a kind of versatile blush and highlight shade because as you can see, it is kind of a rose gold champagne color, which I was hoping could do for a boy. It's, it's just so pretty and yeah. I'm going to take that now on the other side of the brush from Primark and I'm just going to very lightly, I'm going to tap off the excess, I'm going to very lightly put that on the apples of my cheeks. Very subtle, so you, you can easily build it up. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you all in for my eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I actually love this product. I've been using it for about two years now. It is the brow pencil. It is almost gone. It has a spoolie on one side and the pencil on the other. I already purchased this last week, but this is the old one because no point you open the other one yet. So mine is in the shade Blonde Moments, which is, I think, the lightest shade. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to show you quickly how this works and yeah so first I'm going to brush up the hairs the opposite way I'm going to go ahead now and start the in That is my two eyebrows done and dusted. As you can see, they're just very natural brows, but yet they have a bit of colour in them and a bit of a shape. So now on to eyes. And I have two eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. I have this one here, which is just a six colours and it's called Vanity. And it's kind of like natural shades, like browns, greens, and one or two shimmers in there. And then I have this one, which is a bigger one. So again, zooming you all in, I'm going to take the first shade on that six palette, which is just a, um, it is just kind of a translucent shade, and I'm just going to apply that all over to start off with a white base and kind of sort of set the foundation that I put on there. Also, I'm using the pennies brush. The shade I'm using is just the brown, which is underneath it. This is going to work as a transition shade. I'm just putting that into the crease and a little bit above it because I have got hooded eyelids. I'm then taking the shades underneath that, which is kind of a dark brown with a hint of purple on the undertone. 
and I'm just lightly getting this and I'm just going to put this in the outer V and just to darken up the outer corner and just really focus it on the outer V. So the next shade that I'm using is the kind of gold shade which looks a bit like half baked from the Naked palette and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. So same using the same brush again. On to eyeliner for the waterline, I'm using this white coal eye pencil, it is massive, look at the size of that. This was $1.99, like $1.99, like come on, they are huge. I'm just using that in my waterline, I've used this a few times before, so yeah, it just gives the eye a really pop and it looks like you're more awake and more fresh and the eyes appear larger and more rounded, so yeah. I'm gonna pop that in my waterline and I'll be back when I've that done. The eyeliner added now and as you can see my eyes just look more awake and more fresh and more open. So the next step now is mascara. I had to also buy this product. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. This is called the Mega Protein. It was the cheapest one there. It was $2.50. It is, it looks kind of like a mini one but I think it is a full size. Um, but it's just quite small. So I'm just opening the seal now. Nice little small one. I'm just going to apply that now to my eyes. Um, I feel like this won't be that good, so yeah. Okay, so there's the mascara added. Um, yeah, it's not that good of a mascara, which I was kind of expecting for 250, but I mean. If, it's, if you want something really light for school or work or something, it would be good. So, the lips I'm going to use today, which I never do, is a red lip. And the lip liner, the writing has gone off it, even though I don't think I've ever used it. Um, oh, sorry. It's in the shade Berry Ray, which is E717. Um, yeah, I need to top it. So, I'm going to line my lips and... Gonna go ahead and now with this lipstick. This is in the shade Red Velvet, which I haven't even opened. I bought so much the last day and I didn't even open them. I spent like 80 euro. Mm -hmm. So I'm just opening that now. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that on my lips now. It is called Red Velvet, like I just said. And it is so rich and creamy, and I can't, it's so beautiful. It's a red lip and a very, very simple brown, a little bit of shimmer on the eyes. So that is the finished look. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will talk to you next Saturday. So I'm just going to apply this straight on. My friend is ringing me. Massive. <laughs>